how to accept online payments on your website free payment getaway hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can accept online payments on your website on your wordpress website uh using this free payment getaway method so let's get into it now the first thing that you're just going to do is you're going to go on to razorpay.com and from here you're just going to click on sign up over here now, what you're going to do is you're just going to enter your email address or you can continue with your Google account. So I'm just going to continue with my Google account over here and I'm just going to sign up with Google. And this is a very simple and easy way for you to enter a payment getaway for your website, especially if you're not looking to, you know, make it too fancy. If you just want a simple little business and you want a simple little detail so what you're going to do is you're going to enter your full name and then you're just going to enter your number so i'm just going to do that and once you enter your number you're just going to begin your sign up process like once that is done you're going to be on your dashboard and you can begin setting up so you can click on activate your account and then you can give your business overview so this is a non-registered business this is fashion and lifestyle you can add a description like um my first e-commerce business so you can just enter that like so and I'm just going to fill this out with a little bit of characters. Now, what you're going to do is how do you wish to accept payment? So you are going to say add your website and then you're just going to go onto your website. So I'm just going to go onto my website. I'm going to go with my Wix website over here and I'm going to click on select site over here. And I'm just going to copy the URL. You can copy whatever URL you have for whatever website. So it could be any kind of website that you're using. And I'm just going to take the live URL. I'm going to copy that. And I'm just going to enter it on Razorpay. And now I'm going to click accept uh, payments on app. If you have an application for your store, you can add that as well. Then you're just going to click on save and next. And now you're just going to enter your PAN uh, numbers and PAN holders names. So you're just going to enter all of these basic details. And I'm just going to do that and I'll get back to you guys in a second. So once you do that, you're going to be ready to go. So from here, you can actually begin setting up how you want your payment setup to look like so it includes your payment details payment links payment pages so on your left you see this entire little navigation panels and what you're just going to do is you're going to click on payment links or invoices you can begin from there and then you can take a look at how the invoices are so you're just going to click on create invoice and then you're going to continue on over here and now you can see over here with razor pay you have this cute little invoice that you just have to fill out and you can send it to any of your customers now below that you have payment links as well so you're just going to skip and get started and you can see over here you have payment link status and your customers can make you know international purchases off your website as well now after that you have your payment pages and with payment pages you can build a very customized payment page with your own website so let's say if you want you know your entire website to look very um cohesive so you can click on create payment page and you can just choose one of their templates and begin creating your own payment page so uh, let's say this is a create your own so you can enter your page title you can enter what you want it to look like all of those details you can fill out from over here now below that you have your payment button and what you're going to do with the payment button is that you can just um set up the look of the button it's a very simple and easy and intuitive process obviously if you're using something like wix you can just use the wix website editor to edit these things out however you want them but if you're using a wordpress website then uh, using razor pay might be the easier option for you to you know just simplify the overall process keep it simple nice and easy and just to uh, make sure you can do the most before you actually have to you know pay for you know wordpress or all of that stuff so after that you have the route of payment so you can easily split incoming payments into various different accounts so this is another way if you're not a registered merchant so if you haven't registered your business on any platform yet then you can easily uh, check out uh, how to split money in different accounts and that way it's a lot less likely that you're going to be taxed or anything like that is going to happen so that is one way to keep sure that your business business is it means you know um 
under the radar if you want to keep it that way if you are running it if you just haven't registered your business for tax reasons or for whatever reasons now after that you have your subscriptions and whenever a person subscribes to an online offer you can set those up with major pay as well so not only can you set up one-time payments but you can also set up your own subscription store so you can click on read more over here you can click on get started and whenever the date for your subscription arrives so whenever it's like 3rd of march or 3rd of april 3rd of may the person automatically is charged once more for the subscription box or whatever kind of subscription that they have opted for now below that you have qr codes as well and with QR codes, you can easily adapt to um, touch-free payments, and a lot of people are really preferring QR codes for their payment method. So you can just click on over here, and you can see that you have these different uh, labels, and you can just click on create QR code, and you can add single payment, and you can only accept a fixed amount on this QR. So let's say there's one item that is for $78, and you can just click on over here and create a QR specifically for that item and link it to that item on your e-commerce store just for you to be able to provide this new method of payment as well for anyone that is interested and that like gives you like three to four basic versions of payment methods on razor pay and that is like pretty impressive because to all payment methods you don't get that many options this is the basic bank transfers and visa checkouts but with razor pay you're going to be able to get a lot more out of the simple little application that it is so after that you have your smart collect as well so if you want you can use this i personally don't like to use this depending on um, the kind of business you have it might be helpful for you if you're paying like taxes and whatnot that this is like probably the better route for you to go down with now after that you have customers offers and checkout rewards so you can track customers over here and you can provide different bundled offers over here as well so let's say if you want to give like a discount on qr payments you can provide it from here and then you have checkout rewards as well and you can give them like a small little coupon whenever they check out to your customers and that enables them to purchase more from you now below that you have your report section and over here you can just take a look at your payment links rehearsal uh, your settlements uh, your transfers and all of your business details your e-commerce details you can find them all over here and below that you have your my account so all of your account settings then your basic settings and then you have a app store as well so in your app store what you can do is you can integrate different Different website developers so you can see Shopify you can see WooCommerce you can see Wix you can see like quite a few you can also integrate your project management softwares over here as well and in that way you can just have a all-in-one platform integrated into each other so you can just work with your Wix website to um, accept payments directly off of raise your pay and just customize it accordingly from one setup and setup two. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.